we just had a roast dinner as a family. Will goes back to London tomorrow, so we just had a family dinner. Um, it's now quarter to five, and at five I've got this parent support group. So there's someone on Instagram who has arranged like for uh, people who have kind of dogs um, with, you know, people who are just doing stuff with their dogs. She is, you? Yeah. Just came back from training. We had a training session this evening. Um, it was really good. We just did a lot of confidence building and we've got a lot of um, like exercises that we can practice. Um, it's a work day. I'm just about to go into a series of meetings for the afternoon. Um, I you, I'm using my heated blanket, um, which is amazing. I'm obsessed with it. I've attached Lolly's lead to my waist. Um, we're going to go pick up pizza and I need multiple hands. So we're doing a hands-free situation. We are just walking down to the coffee shop um, between 8 and 8.30 to do the half life takeaway coffees, which is a perfect Friday treat. Lolly's non-stop dog wear arrived. Um, we got the raincoat and we got the the line harness and um, this is the line harness so it actually fits her neck really well um, we just got to tighten up the chest bit this morning we're doing our usual market trip to the market with two dogs um this is my first time doing it with two dogs there we are lying on this side with her new harness which looks amazing we are obsessed yeah, we're gonna have to go this way. Where are you guys going? Where are you guys going? Good shake off, Willow. Good job. She likes to roll in things. That's a behaviour Lolly does not do. <laughs> I did have them on two longer lines, but then Lolly was mistaking Willow's behaviour for play and then started running and then Willow was getting annoyed and then started running um, and then it just got in a big tangled mess. Hopefully they're happy. Obviously I'm watching Glee again. It's actually quite good um, a dog being a bit rougher with Lolly and then Lolly learning that it's okay, like she's safe and like it's play it's playful. Um, because obviously her interactions with she gets very nervous around dogs kind of being a bit boisterous and actually in a controlled environment like this. Lolly Lolly kind of going through it and realizing that oh we're all we're all okay actually I think is a like a, a good learning experience. <laughs> Um, it is Sunday afternoon. Willow the dog just left. Um, I also working on this uh, weaving. We are just going to um, let Lolly chill for the next couple of days and then we'll start back with our separation anxiety training. We obviously didn't do any whilst Willow was here. Oh, I just want to play some Sims. And here we are with an application update. Um, it's 20 past eight on Tuesday. Um, I got a coffee. Um, Lolly is just having a little sniff. Um, I just thought it's a really nice day. I don't know if you can see. Um, and like it's warm enough to sit. We have this new game, it's called Ready Steady. Ready, steady, go. <laughs> Ready? Look at her little nipple. Ready? Steady? Go! We just did some sound sensitivity training. Basically, I like play dogs barking on YouTube, and then I just treat Lolly for laying there calmly and like listening. Here's Lolly. I just brushed her. You can't see, but. Her. Her head's really fluffing out. We haven't been here in a while. I know you can hear people over there. I 
Um, I don't know if I filmed anything today. Oh yeah, me and Lolly went on a walk to the fields this morning, which actually worked out a lot better than it started. I uh, came back home, uh, fell asleep, which I really needed a nap. Um, oh, do you see that cloud? That is so nice. Um, woke up, then fell back asleep. <laughs> um, and now I'm just making dinner for everybody. And then it's Strigga Come Dancing, which me and Anna are obsessed with. I'm just feeling so disheartened about Lolly's training at the moment. She's doing really well with separation anxiety stuff. Um, she can now walk past pretty much anybody, but we're still really struggling going past really any dog. Good girl, good girl. <laughs> you can see. Can you see that? <laughs> um, I've just been doing a lot of cooking today. I made brunch for everybody and then I made this oatmeal banana blueberry cake, which I'm just going to... This is the most satisfying part. And you're like, ooh, take off that bit. Lolly's literally in bed um, in my spot, so I have had to move over. <laughs> I wasn't even recording, are you kidding? Um, anyway, just on our dog walk. Dog. Um, multiple amazing things happened. Made multiple amazing things happened. Uh, on this walk, Lolly peed and pooped, which is wild because she doesn't like to do that in public. But she did it twice. Um, and then we also just went to the park and there are multiple dogs and Lolly looked at the dogs and looked at me and then kept walking. It is the following morning. Um, Mark's really unwell which is really really sucky. Um, Anna's also unwell so I think she's probably got Covid. I woke up feeling unwell, I don't know if that's a placebo. Um, knowing that there's COVID in the house. Um, I didn't feel unwell yesterday. So I'm just gonna see how I go. I tested negative, I bought more COVID tests so I can keep testing. Um, and um, I'm going to get my hair cut because I've tested negative. I'm going to get my hair cut. My favorite thing to do at Halloween is to, cause it's Halloween weekend, is to watch the Halloween Horror Nights in Orlando. Um, walk through all the haunted houses. Obviously wearing a mask in the house. Um, this is my hospital grade sanitizer I'm carrying around. And it is Sunday the 29th, I got my hair cut. It's a little bit flicky from sleep, uh, but that's fine. Um, me and Lolly are going to the farm shop for breakfast and then depending on how we feel we might go to the country park that's just down the road for a walk um later i've got my pet parents port group and mark and anna well mark definitely still has covid anna is unwell with probably covid um we just got to the farm shop um they're just opening up so we're just waiting in the car for a bit um and there's people also waiting to go in, so I'm just waiting. I know, Lolly. We're gonna go get coffee, and hopefully, um, they do like a grilled cheese, um, like spinach and pesto s sandwich situation, which is what I'm really gunning for. If they don't have that, they have the most amazing pan of chocolate, which is like the size of my head, and it's like covered in chocolate on the top. Good news, I got a flat white and the toasty. Ta -da. Okay, we were there for about half an hour, which actually was a lot longer than I thought we were. I've still got some coffee left over, but it started getting really busy. Um, so I decided to 
we'll get back in the car, um, have a couple of sips of coffee, and then we can go to the country park. It's like five minutes down the road. Um, we're just at this country park. That dog just went by. Lolly did amazing. We're just sniffing in the off path areas, um, just so we're not in the way of any people or dogs. Um, hi. Lolly has been doing so well. We have gone past a, a few dogs and um, but with a lot of distance, obviously. And she's like, looked at the dog, looked at me, and then gone back to sniffing, like multiple times. Her tail's up, her ears are forward. She's like sniffing and exploring and peppy. It is so, it like just warms my heart when she's having a good time. Look at all this sniffing. There's people and dogs, multiple dogs, people, look at her, just doing her thing. I'm obsessed. Um, it is almost 12, so we've been out for two and a half hours. Um, I'm actually starting to not feel very well, so we've decided to go home. But we've been out for quite a while. Um, a little bit anxious, obviously worried it's COVID. Um, just watching Strictly and doing some leaving. Um, I just ordered, Lolly's getting spayed on the 4th of um, December. So we're going to the vets on Monday to kind of finalise everything. Um, and I just ordered a, like a, <laughs> like a surgery suit for her to wear, um, plus like a, a donut coat she's looking at me i know you're gonna have to wear it for a while um and a donut thing to go around her neck a little tag is so cute i love her new tag um it's the 31st of october um i'm having breakfast outside um woke up with a cough and i'm not feeling well so i'm gonna test again and there's a large chance I have COVID and I'm really, really anxious about it because I fly in nine days. Uh, just out on lunch, I walk with Lolly. It's nice and quiet, which is really nice. Lolly's doing really well. Anya, you're doing so good. You're doing so good. Yeah, you are. Yeah. You can have a little treat for that. Yeah, a good crunchy one. Oh, I would just feel like the vlog isn't that exciting in October, but I didn't really do much. But this is me ending the October vlog. Um, I am currently still testing negative for COVID, which is good. Um, this month, Lolly reached one minute with her final duration for a separation anxiety training, which is really good. We've been doing a lot of like skill, um, like trick training, which has been really fun. Um, and yeah, I've been planning my trip to Toronto, which is in early November and just adjusting to it being winter. Nothing super eventful happened, but I'm very excited for November because it's my birthday and I'm going to Canada and um yeah more stuff going on so goodbye october hello november